If you're broke and you want to start your own online business in 2022, here are three steps for you to take for you to get there. Now, those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu, and I'm the founder of BJK University, a education company on a mission to impact 1 million lives by providing alternatives to traditional education. So I get asked all the time, posts on Instagram, emails, all the stuff. I'm a student, you know, I'm 18 years old, I'm 25. Um, you know, I just simply uh, 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 lost a business. I have a job. I'm completely broke. I don't know what to do, but I want to start my own business. You know, Bashar, you were $150,000 in debt. Obviously, you were probably in a worse situation than I am. How did you do it, right? And this is exactly how I did it, right? Now, if I had to break it down, I would break it down to three steps. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to find a vehicle. That is very important, right? And so, number one, you guys see that? is vehicle, right? And what I mean by this is I don't mean an automobile. I mean a, a way to make money. So a business idea, a niche, a, 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 a product, whatever it is. So for me, it was Amazon FBA. For you, it could be Amazon FBA or it could be something else, right? So the very first thing is a vehicle. Now, if you don't know how to find your vehicle, I have another video in my channel where I talk about how to start your next or how to select your next online business idea. So be sure to go and watch that video after this video. So the very first thing is your vehicle. Now, why is that important? Because if you want to make money, you need to find out how you're going to make money. Now it's important that you find one vehicle and you stick to it for at least 12 to 24 months, because anything great is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time, right? But before you even find the niche or find the vehicle or the product or whatever that you want to do, you want to make sure that you do adequate research for you to find that vehicle. And again, if you want to know exactly step by step on how to do that, I have another video where I actually talk about that. So I highly suggest that you go watch that video. So that's the very first thing is you want to find a vehicle. The second thing is you want to find a blueprint. A blueprint that's going to um, help you and you know help you succeed in that vehicle. And what I mean by that is in today's world with the online you know, education booming, it's a course, it's a mastermind, it's a book or a series of books, it's a, a podcast, it's a YouTube channel, it's a, you know, um, I don't know, it's maybe a, 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 a core, uh, you know, like a, a program, some type of a program, maybe it's hiring a consultant, maybe it's partnering up with somebody, right? Maybe it's um, uh, um, I, I don't know. It's just all these things that could actually be blueprint, right? Having a step-by-step -step guidance on how to do it, because look, you can probably go out there and try to do it by yourself and try to figure it out. But almost anything that you try to do, unless if you're going to try to launch a spaceship into uh, orbit, which really Elon Musk is doing. And in a few years, you can probably go and tag along to Elon's, um, you know, blueprint and be able to do that as well. Everything else has been done. Right. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, you know, either that same exact thing has been done. Let's say you want to start a consulting business like BJK University and you want to teach people how to X, Y, Z. Well, how to X, Y, Z is a skill that you need to have, but a consulting business has been done. There are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of consulting businesses around the world and thousands of consultant, um, you know, of, of business consultants that can teach you how to start a consulting business. If you want to start selling products online, almost any different criteria has been done. So you could simply tag along to someone. Obviously, if you want to start selling on Amazon, BJK University is the best place for you to start. So that's number two. The third thing is investment, right? And for this, it's like, well, Bashar, yeah, sure, I get it. You know, obviously, if I want blueprint, I need money. You know, if I want to start, I need money, but that's why I even came to this video, bro, because I don't have money. Well, I get that, and I'm going to explain to you exactly how to get the money. But if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button. It truly helps us rank in the algorithm. And then let me know in the comments below what questions you have about this topic so far. So the last thing is investment. And you're broke, right? You don't have money. I was broke in 2015. I had no money. How did I start a multi seven figure business? Well, I did this thing called OPM. And OPM stands for other people's money. 
and sorry for my chicken handwriting, right? It's other people's money. So obviously I did not have the money to start. I knew that I needed a blueprint. Well, at first I didn't have a blueprint and that's why now I'm suggesting that you do get a blueprint because I wasted $7,000 before I went and got a blueprint. But what you wanna do is you want to make sure that you find someone that has the money. So you come up with a budget. So let's say if you wanna start with BJK University, we're telling you they need about $10,000 USD to start selling on Amazon with BJK University, right? Okay, cool. So now you know the number, right? That includes the blueprint and investment and you already have the vehicle. Okay, cool. So now your job is to find a person or multiple people that have the $10,000 and trust me, I don't care where you live. And some people may say, but I'm in India, but I'm in Kenya, but I'm in Ghana, but I'm in South Africa, but I'm in Iraq, but I'm in Lebanon. Dude, it doesn't matter where you live. There is people that have the $10,000. You either go and, and simply pull out credit cards, you borrow money from your parents, your friends, you, um, you take out a loan from a bank, or you could bring on investors. You could go simply to a friend of yours or a relative or a cousin or whoever and say, hey, look, do you believe in me? This is what I'm trying to do. Build a simple business plan. I'm trying to create a, a business and I need $10,000. You can either lend me that 10,000, say for the next 12 months or 24 months, and I'll pay you interest on that, or you can become a, 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 a partner in my business. And then some of you might be like, well, I don't know if I want to bring in a partner into my business. Well, look, having a chunk of something, it's better than having the whole thing of nothing, right? So do understand that. But that's very important for you and, 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 and stop allowing society to put, you know, to keep pushing you down and, and keep spreading the limited belief on you that, you know, don't borrow money and you know, uh, 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 debt is not good and, and partnering up with people is not good because this is how I was raised as well. But if you look around you, I live in a 44 story building, okay, in downtown Miami. This building is probably worth a couple hundred million dollars. Do you really think the person who owns the management company or the investment company came and paid for the whole thing cash? No, they didn't. They have investors. People like myself and other you know, entrepreneurs have some money sitting aside and it's like, you know, I would rather put it somewhere that's actually being, you know, that's, that's producing money without me worrying about it than having it sit in the bank and get literally nothing, right? So do understand that if you believe that $10,000 you cannot make happen because no one around you in your circle has $10,000, that's nothing but a limiting belief, right? And then also do understand if you think you can, or if you think you can't, you will always be 100% right all the time. So again, to sum this thing up, three ways for you to be able to start your next business online or offline or anywhere. Number one, find a vehicle. Number two, find a blueprint. And number three, find an investment. And that would be either by borrowing money, it's OPM, or simply bringing on an investor. Now, if you've enjoyed this video so far, consider subscribing. But what I wanna do is I wanna invite you to a short case study below this video that if you are interested in selling on Amazon, we'll show you how this whole thing, we will get this entire triangle covered for you. We'll provide you a vehicle blueprint and we can also help you with getting an investment. You, you should actually have $10,000 of your money. However, click the link below, check out the short case study and we'll see if you qualify to work with BJK University. Outside of that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.